Republic Day. Gattu and Chinki's school was buzzing today, and all the kids were excited since morning. It was Republic Day that day, and like every year, this year also Republic Day was going to be celebrated in a grand way. The celebration of this day was going to start with a flag hoisting ceremony, and after that, there were many competitions. Gattu participated in quiz competition, and Chinki was going to participate in the patriotic songs singing competition. Hurry up! Let's go on the ground. Okay, it's time for a flag hoisting ceremony. Gattu, Chinki, and all the other students went to the ground and stood in rows. After some time, the principal of the school and chief guest hoisted the flag. As the flag started fluttering in the wind, the band of the school started playing Jangan Man. The moment was filled with the spirit of patriotism, and everyone over there was feeling proud to be a part of this country. After flag hoisting. Sweets were distributed among the students, and then everyone went to the auditorium where cultural programs and competitions were going to be held. All the best, Tinky. I'm sure that you will win this patriotic song singing competition. Thank you, Gattu. Students sang amazing patriotic songs for the competition, but the way Tinky sang Vande Mataram gave everyone goosebumps. After she finished her song, whole of the auditorium burst into applause. and she was declared as the winner of the competition after that it was time for a quiz competition as the questions of the competition became more difficult one by one all of the competitors went out of the competition and gattu and bunty reached the last round to solve the tie breaker mishra sir asked a question who was the first president of india bunty was thinking about the answer when gattu pressed the buzzer yes gattu tell us India's first president was Dr. Rajendra Prasad. Very good, Gattu. That's correct. Gattu was declared as a winner of the quiz competition. Chinki and all the students congratulated him with a loud applause. Gattu and Chinki were called onto the stage, and then the principal and chief guest gave them medals along with certificates and a book as a prize. When Gattu and Chinki returned home, mummy and papa were very happy and proud of them. We enjoyed today's Republic Day when school held different competition and we won prizes. Very good, dear. When Chinki sang Vande Matram song, the whole auditorium was ringing with applause. Yes, mummy. And Gattu impressed everyone by answering all the difficult questions very easily. Wow, kids! Both of you have made us very proud today. Chinki was so excited that the whole day she kept talking about the Republic Day celebration with her mummy or papa and Gattu was busy unwrapping the books they won as prize. When he unwrapped the cover, he saw the title of the book, Constitution of India. Oh, we got the Constitution of India book as a prize. Son, no other award can be better than this book on Republic Day because on 26th January 1950 The Constitution of India came into force and hence we celebrate the Republic Day. Gattu was turning the pages of the book and he saw preamble of constitution. But papa, see what is written here on preamble page? Here it is written that we the people of India are adopting Indian constitution from 29 November 1949. So if we adopted it on 29 November 1949 Then what was done on 26 January? Chinki was also surprised to hear that. She also read the preamble once again. Yes, here it is mentioned 29 November 1949 only. Then why do we celebrate Republic Day on 26 January? Hearing their argument, Mummy smiled and answered. There is an interesting story behind this. Story of a struggle for freedom. Mummy, please tell us. Yes, we want to know. Mummy showed them various photos related to the freedom struggle of India and many freedom fighters, and she told them the story about 26th January. In the early 20th century, the leaders of the Indian freedom movement were not demanding complete independence from the British government. Considering the situation at that time, they were demanding more rights for Indian people and were asking. for a dominion status 
What is dominion status? Dominion status means they wanted such a government in India which will consist of Indian people but we will consider ourselves as a part of the British Empire. The government selected by us will work under the British crown. Oh, it means we will seem free but will still be a slave in a way. Yes, but some young free fighters like Bhagat Singh and Chandrasekhar Azad were not ready for any kind of slavery. They wanted full freedom from the British Empire. Then what happened? Finally, just like Bhagat Singh and Chandrasekhar Azad, all other freedom fighters also started thinking about complete freedom. Then, in 1929, some big leaders like Mahatma Gandhi and Jawaharlal Nehru held a meeting in Lahore. They decided that all Indians will now fight for complete freedom from the British Empire. They hoisted a flag on 26 January 1930. and made announcement for complete independence and it was decided that each year 26 january will be celebrated as independence day gattu and chinki were surprised to hear this independence day on 26 january independence day is celebrated on 15th august yes and that's the most interesting part of the story How did 26 January become Republic Day instead of Independence Day? Gattu and Chinki were now listening to Mummy with full attention and curiosity. So after 1930, we used to celebrate Independence Day on 26 January every year to remind everyone that we are fighting for complete independence. And after 17 years When our country became independent in the year 1947 from British rule on 15th August 1947 correct so on 15th August 1947 the British finally left India and in this way 15th August became a real independence day and 26th January So after getting independence when the constitution was prepared by the team led by Dr B R Ambedkar according to preamble it was adopted on 29th November 1949 but it was implemented after 2 months that is since 26 January 1950 so that we can celebrate 26 January as a republic day because 26 january plays an important part in the freedom struggle for india oh so that is why the constitution of india was implemented in our country on 26 january 1950 and we celebrate it as republic day so now do you get it yes papa yes now we know the importance of 26 january gattu and chinki were very happy to know this new and very important information about india's history and they promised themselves to respect the constitution of india and become a responsible citizen and patriotic indians if you are liking our videos then like them comment them and subscribe